Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the drawback of Bellman Ford algorithm. Already we have discussed what is Bellman Ford algorithm and how to solve Bellman Ford algorithm using dynamic programming technique. We have solved the dynamic programming approach also and simple approach also we have discussed with one example. Now, with this example, we will discuss what is the main drawback of Bellman Ford algorithm. So, how to implement Bellman Ford algorithm? We need to understand two key points. We need to relax the edges n minus 1 times. So, according to this given graph, there are four vertices. So, we need to relax the edges 4 minus 1 times. That is, three times we have to relax the edges. Every time when we are relaxing the edges, we have to implement D of B. That is, every time when we are finding the new root, consider minimum of d of v this d of v is nothing but already the destination cost or otherwise d of u plus cost of u comma v suppose if this is the starting vertex and this is the destination vertex in the sense distance of starting vertex is already d of u and distance of destination vertex is already d of v so to find this destination vertex cost we have to implement d of v is equal to minimum of d of v. This is d of v. Already the cost we have calculated for this word is 2. Comma d of u plus cost of u comma v. This is d of u and this is cost of u comma v. This one and this one if we are adding and if you are getting a minimum value compared to this one in the sense, we have to consider this one. Or this one is minimum in the sense, this cost only we will consider. So which one is minimum cost that we will consider here. Okay. So, this is nothing but Bellman Ford algorithm. Already we have discussed with examples. I will provide all the examples with the links in the description. So, now in the similar method we will solve. Using the simple approach we will solve this Bellman Ford algorithm. So, what is simple approach in the sense? First we have to order the edges. That is 1 to 2. How many edges is there? According to their direction we have to order the edges. So, we will order according to the vertices order. Okay. So that is 1 to 2. 1, 2, 3, 1 edge and 1, 2, 4, 1 edge. Then if you are considering vertex 2 in the sense 2, 2, 3, only 1 edge. And 3 if you are considering only 1 edge, 3, 2, 4. And 4 if you are considering it is 4, 2, 2. So these are all the edges present in this given graph. So in this edge order, we are going to relax the edges. So first time, we are relaxing the edge. So 1, 2, 2 if you are considering in the sense cost is 3. Okay. And 1, 2, 3, distance is 6. 1, 2, 4, distance is 8. Next to 2, 2, 3. 2, 2, 3, if you are considering, already the distance is 3 plus minus 3. So, 3 minus 3, we will get it as 0. Which one is minimum? 0 or 6. So, already the distance, if you are considering, in this sense, D of V is 6. Okay. And if you are considering this, D of U plus cost of U comma V. So, this will be the starting vertex now. This is D of U plus cost of U comma V. So, if we are adding these two in the sense 3 minus 3, we will get it as 0. Which one is minimum? 6 or 0? Which one is minimum? 0 is minimum. So, consider 0. Next, 3 to 4, it is 0 plus 2. So, we will get it as 2. Similarly, 4 to 2, it is 2 minus 4. We will get it as minus 2. Minus 2 is minimum compared to 3. So, we will consider minus 2. So, now we have completed relaxing the edge first time. Next, second time, 1 to 2, distance is 3, already it is minus 2. This is minimum. 1 to 3, distance is 6, already the minimum cost is 0. So, we will consider this one. And 1 to 4, the cost is 8, but already the cost is 2. So, we will consider 2. And 2 to 3, if you are considering, this is minus 2, minus 3, we will get minus 5. So, minus 5 is least compared to 0. So, we will consider minus 5. Okay. Next, 3 to 4 if we are considering. It is minus 5 plus 2. We will get minus 3. Minus 3 is least compared to 2. So, we will consider minus 3. Next, 4 to 2. It is minus 3 minus 4. We will get minus 7. This one is least. So, now we have completed second time relaxing the edges. Next, third time. So, according to this given graph, we have to relax 3 times. Okay, third time, 1 to 2 distance is 3, already it is minus 7. 1 to 3 distance is 6, already it is minus 5, this one is very 1 to 4 distance is 8, already minus 3 is minimum. 
and 2 to 3 if you are considering already it is minus 5. Now it is minus 7 minus 3 it is minus 10. So minus 10 is minimum. So we will consider minus 10. Next 3 to 4 if you are considering already distance is minus 3. Now minus 10 plus 2 we will get minus 8. This one is minimum. Now 4 to 2 if you are considering it is minus 8 minus 4 we will get minus 12. This one is minimum. So now we have completed third time relaxing the edges. So, according to Bellman 4 algorithm, we need to relax the edges n minus 1 time. And if you are considering in the sense, when you are relaxing the edges n minus 1 time, the last two, two times uh, when you are relaxing the edges, the value should not change. The distance should not change. Then only the Bellman 4 algorithm value is correct. But here if you are considering in the sense, we have implemented three times relaxing the edges. All the three times, the values, the minimum cost value keep on changing. So, now we will try one more time. That is 1 to 2 distance is 3, already it is minus 12. 1 to 3 distance is 6, already minus 10. 1 to 4 distance is 8, already minus 8. And 2 to 3 if you are considering, already it is minus 10. Now, what is minus 12 minus 3? We will get minus 15. Again, it is changing. Okay. Next, 3 to 4, if you are considering minus 15 plus 2, we will get minus 13. Minus 13 is minimum. So, it will change. Again, 4 to 2, if you are considering, it is minus 13 minus 4, we will get minus 17. Again, it is changing. This should not happen. Okay, that is last two times. When you are trying to relax the edges, the value should not change. Then only, Bellman Ford algorithm works properly and we will get the proper result. But here, if you are considering, after relaxing the edges n minus 1 times, even if you are doing in the sense, again the values is changing. So, here the Bellman Ford algorithm does not work properly. Why? Because it forms a cycle here. That is 2 to 3, 3 to 4 and 4 to 2. It forms a cycle with the negative edges. So, when Bellman Ford algorithm forms a cycle with negative weight or negative cost in the sense, the Bellman Ford algorithm will not give a proper result. So, this is the main drawback of Bellman Ford algorithm. When it forms a cycle with negative weight, it will not give proper result. Thank you for watching this video.